Welcome back to more World of Final Fantasy, everyone. So last time, we made it all the way here to the ex e uh, Eclipse, sorry, Eclipse region. I'm already freaking messing up my words. And uh, we made it to this place that has a chain thing on top, so... Oh man. No idea what to expect. Tome Town of the Ancients. Absolutely zero use for this. Well, you never were too keen on the printed word. I doubt anyone's gonna be burning through any paperbacks in this light. Hmm. The town is awfully dark. I mean, I know it's the land of not but night, but it's still too early for the town to be sleeping, right? Yeah. There should be more people around if you ask the me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hey, are you okay? Oh. Huh? What's the matter? Huh? What? What? Come on. Can you keep up? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Final Fantasy VII fans are rejoicing right now after seeing that. They were like, finally, it's about time. Even though I went crazier for Squall than this guy. But still, this guy's cool. I like Cloud. You know, he's in Smash Brothers. Oh, mirages we can handle. Yeah, no sweat. Okay, time to savage our reputation. All the right, let's do it. You want him to think we're even more incompetent? Oh, whatever. Savage away! Okay, so here's some new enemies. They are vampires, but also... Well, I've already seen these werebats. Inflict blindness, which I cannot do. Damn it. Okay, leave on the vampire. Let's see. Use dark attacks. Dark as in dark elemental. Problem is, I haven't had a single opportunity for a dark attack, at least I don't think so. So, oh, really? Really, Lon? Usually rain is when that misses more. Not you. What the hell is that? Seriously? Okay, um, kill this guy. Are you- Oh, it's because they have any counters. That's not- I guess it's not entirely your fault, you know? Critical and that still wasn't enough to kill. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. A lot of HP. Kill them! There we go. They're not hard at all. They're not. Alright. Well, I'm experience like 20,000, please. Around that much. Yes, that's a lot. Your keepers? Right. The giants from the hills. Ta-da! That's us! Point us at mirages and watch the magic! <laughs> if that's the case, then come with me. So, who are they? Celeste. 
These kids are the giants from the hills. You don't mean from the prophecy. Um, you think you could fill us in on what's been going on here? Sure. Where to begin? So that anchor appeared out of nowhere, then the mirages? Yeah. The League of S sent me here. I was supposed to just be investigating the anchor. But by the time he arrived, the vampires were already running amok. I'm told that it was utter chaos. Um, you didn't see it? I'm a hired sword, and my job in Tome Town is to guard this place, the Library of the Ancients. So rarely do I find myself stepping outside. And it's always quiet here. Nothing seemed amiss, at least not until the town had already been overtaken. Hey, Celeste, where's... Oh, he was over there re... Hmm. How strange. Sid? Are you here? Sid? If you don't answer me, I am going to burn all of these books. Wait, wait! Those ghastly threats are so unbecoming. Huh? Ah, a talking weird thing! So what if it's a mirage? I often wonder the same thing. How incredibly rude. I am just as human as you. Just because I sometimes have a habit of... Pussy! 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 Yes, he does have a habit of going haywire. And it's my job to calm him down. What? Calm him down? If anything, he looks more broken down than... I'm back! <laughs> yes, well, it's far harder to break than you'd think. Trust me. I'll thank you not to refer to yes, me as an... Yes, May we continue with our conversation now? Hmm? Oh, yes. Where were we? Oh, you're like a book freak. What did you do? Make a body that doesn't sleep just so you could keep reading forever? Oh, no, no, please, you have it very wrong. I prefer the term bibliophile, thank you very much. That's the part that's wrong? As I understand it, someone just happened to leave that body he's in lying around, and somehow his soul got embedded in it. His soul's in bed? Wow. <laughs> I guess in a way, you are human deep down. Maybe his soul needs to I think you are human in every conceivable way. <laughs> no, you really, really aren't. <laughs> and what about you then? You say you're the giants from the hills? Now that right there is the real stretch. I mean, what a hoot. Mm. Uh, what a what? Oh, <laughs> Tom is not an owl. I mean, it is an easy mistake, but wouldn't you assume she's a skunk or something first? You, you, you! How dare you call me the stinky again? That is the last, the straw! I am the fragrant! Roses line up just to get the one whiff of me! What really the stinks is your whole stupid existence! You don't have to be ashamed of people thinking you're skunky. Skunks are cool, okay? Time out. Wildlife coolness aside, could you not derail every conversation just because you don't know how to vocabulary? But rain? Vocabulary's not a verb. It is if I say so. I'll vocab any way I want to. So can it before I vocab you in the Larry. Ah, uh, uh, I see now you're comedians. Bravo. Enough. We have more important things to discuss. Okay, let's get right down to it. Those people back there with the fangs? What is the deal with them? Wow, right down to business. Huh. Vampires. They used to be people like us. Until a vampire bite turned them. Huh? Now wait. Don't tell me that people can turn into mirages. And, and they can't go back to the way they were? Oh, well, while we're going back, when I was younger and even handsomer, I... I mean, uh... Oh yes, I remember clearly now. According to several books I have read, those who have become vampires can be cured, provided the vampire that sucked their blood is vanquished before it's too late. So then, all we have to do is move fast and take out the vampires that did the biting? That's the basic idea. But of course, those vampires used to be just as human as their victims. So if we're not careful about it, 
wouldn't we end up sacrificing as many lives as we managed to save in the end? Although, we could always pick off the illiterate vampires first. You're not really living anyway if you've never known the comfort of a good book. Uh, no, I don't think that makes you eligible for slaying. But, point taken, we can't save everyone. Then, dude, what are we supposed to do? What if we defeated the first vampire, the one who started the whole thing? The first? Uh, that's it. If you trace the epidemic back, there has to be a first. Yes. Let's call that one the Prime. If we defeat the Prime, then the rest... Hey, yeah! It should cause a ripple effect and fix everyone. We would be vanquishing the Bitey's Biter's Biter. What do you think? Will it work, Sid? Well, it hasn't been particularly long since the commotion started, so... Yes, I believe that it could. Excellent. What a plan. Did you follow that, Tama? What? Uh, uh, of course I did. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, I was just checking. All right. So, where can we find the Prime? Let's see. Cloud, when you fight the vampires off, have you noticed any patterns to where they seem to go? Hmm. I never gave it much thought, but now that you mention it, they always seem to retreat to the north. Ah, well, that points to one place. That's right. The graveyard with all the abandoned Mirage trains. That's their lair. Then let's not waste any more time. We should go. Wait, Cloud. Who's going to help the townspeople? I have to stay here. You wouldn't want me to go bleak and make a big old mess. Which is exactly the reason why I have to stay here. So, he's a big pain in the royal the butt and certifiably useless! <laughs> okay, putting aside how completely not funny that is, we can go to the graveyard for you, right? Huh? Uh, yeah! Vampire Schmampire, you just go ahead and point us at any old mirage. And we'll have to do the rest! Hmm. All right then. I guess. Let's see what the Fable Giants can do. I'll take you to the graveyard. Just say the word. I'll be around. Keepers, I wish you luck. If a mirage isn't shaped like a human, then it probably never was one. Attack away, guilt-free. Hmm? Oh, stop staring. You can very clearly see that I'm human. Okay, that was a very long cutscene for sure. It feels like it's been so long since I actually, uh, you know, talked. Anyway, uh, multiple references here. The Library of the Ancients appears in Final Fantasy V. Uh, Stellis is a character from Final Fantasy VI, although this whole time I actually thought her name was pronounced Stellis, not Stellis. So yeah, I was wrong about that. And uh, which did I come from? What the heck? Okay, whatever. And then uh, Cloud, obviously Final Fantasy VII, but I already talked about that a little bit. So... I mean, there are multiple ways to go. It's kind of confusing, but let me talk to Cloud because I believe that's still... Dude, stop getting stuck in chairs, dude. Again, you just got stuck in chairs again. Okay, let me get this damn... Do I need a heal? I do. A little bit. Just a tattered... Oh my god, that is a giant book. That's huge. Also, they're right on the freaking chest over here. Hey, look, there's actually people here. Ever heard of death magic? Death Scary magic, yes, I have. I have heard of it, actually. Um, anybody over here, though? Nope. There's only one more dude there. That's it, only one dude? Well, okay, then let me talk to Cloud. In case it wasn't obvious, the town is still a big mess. I wish I could help you guys fight, but they need my help. Are you sure you'll be able to face the Prime on your own? I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I think you've seen by now we can handle ourselves. We got it covered. Yep. You just worry about the town. Will do. If things settle down, I'll come find you later. So, next stop, the train graveyard. You ready?
Here we are. Welcome to Vampire Land. Also, they don't live here alone. There are other things too. Be careful. Wow! Just the look at all these choo-choos! I'm definitely getting that graveyard vibe. It's like a ghost could pop out at any second. Oh my gosh, Lon! That is not funny at all! Okay, so the train graveyard is a reference to Final Fantasy VII. So even more and more freaking references, you know? Okay, so, um... Let's see if I can actually do this without messing up too much. Okay, that thing needs zap. Let's so like my zap, dude. Oh, look That's at that. What I call a lift. Nothing can surprise us now, huh? Hey, is that a ghost? <laughs> oh my god, man. Uh, let's see. Want me to turn this into a lawn graveyard? <laughs> no, thank you. Now, here there are two ways. I guess I'll begin by going... Yeah, this way makes sense. Wait, can I even go? Where am I going? Well, I went outside first. That's not what I wanted to do initially. Uh, nothing I can do over here, though. What the heck? What's over here? Encounter! Dude, it Let's make this good. Now, these guys look cool. Oh, they're imps? They look a lot better than just normal imps. Uh, let's go into a Libra, of course, as always. Conflict confusion. Too bad for me because I got none of that. Oh my god, I might have to do so much backtracking in this game to get them all if I want all to do right. that. Victory. Like so much. 9480, not that much experience, but whatever, I'll take it. Hey, know what they call a locomotive with vampire fangs? I sense a bad the joke coming. Honestly, I'm more impressed he knows the word locomotive. A choo-choo train. Because it's got fangs. Fangs that... I... think I need a pillow to cry in. These freaking characters, man. Oh, what the hell is that? New Mirage. Abilities. Libra once again. Uh, bestow regen on the Mirage. Okay, I can actually do that. Let me go ahead and just, uh, kill them, though. Okay. Let's go to, uh, items. So it is actually... Wait, did I use it? Oh my god, I used up the only one that I had, didn't I? On the freaking... God damn it! I am so bad at this, people. I am so bad at catching my head in this game. Like, terrible. Whatever, just give me my freaking XP. So I can be on my way. There's just no hope for us any the more. But anyway, uh anything else to talk about? Not really. How is your day? And when I say how is your day, I mean all of you watching. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I'm like freaking about to smash thing? Cool. Like, I seriously have no idea what to talk about anymore, people. Okay, so I'm obviously gonna go this way, because there's gonna be a chest. What is that down there? Nothing? Nothing important? I don't think so, at least. Anything here? Nope. I guess I'll just go this way and claim a chest of my own. What is it? Two Phoenix Pinions. Nice. You know, I wonder how much more left there is in the game. Alright, now in this area, there is, um... Anything over here? What the hell was that? Oh, there is actually something. Three remedies. Cool. So, I just need to go straight ahead through. Nothing over there, nothing there. Alright, whatever. Oh, That's the first time Stroll has kicked in. In a long time. A gold hourglass. Cool. Oh, 
All right, so let's see. It's area number two. Uh, this place has... This is ginormous. This is freaking ginormous, man. What the heck? Okay, nothing there. You know, that actually reminds me of a Fisherman's Horizon from Final Fantasy VIII, that mechanic there. And also because the whole place looks all very, like, metallic-like, you know? All steel-like. Okay, so there are two ways to go here. Um... I don't know, actually. Because, like, I can try to go down there. Let me smash that first, though. Let's see, I can't do much there, unfortunately. So I, I gotta light that thing up. But, I want to come down here first. Because there might be, yep, a chest. Okay. Two remedies. Cool. Activate that. What? Okay, that's a new mirage there. Um. Wait, did I already. What about the ice bat? Oh, okay, I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the ice bat. Oh, shoot. Um, well, actually, I mean, I can't really unstack it because I do so much damage. I don't have enough time to do that. I mean, I could try. This direction. No, it's not really gonna work. Well, maybe. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was really well, victory! Don't worry, never mind. Never mind. I think I was going to go. I'm trying to make it like really close to the end before I freaking end this video, you know? Gotta hurry. Okay, pretty self explanatory here. Yeah, I mean, this entire place, even though it's the this train graveyard. graveyard is a really the fascinating. Tama! Why did you just yell at Tama? What is wrong with you when you. What? What's the wrong? This is a rail yard, not a you know what yard, okay? Let's get our terminology straight. What the yeah. hell is wrong with the rain? In the last like two episodes, she's had yes, some damn man. temper issues. Like seriously, like she just had anger issues the whole time. Like a, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's wrong with her now, but something weird is going on with her. Okay, just some more of those skull guys. Quite simple. Let's see. There's a chest over there. I must claim that. What's this? And it is four others. Man, this has been like the most boring thing ever. No music and I'm talking like really mellow too. Like what the heck? This is probably like the most boring episode ever to watch on YouTube. Oh my god, there's still that much more? Holy shit, these things are huge. And there's two chests that way, so I guess I'll head that way. But man, is this crazy. I'm assuming one of these is a mimic. Three eye drops. Never mind. Some items, cool. Let's run back. Do I have anyone for Joyride? No, I don't. Shit. Because I got rid of the Magitek guy. Or else I would Joyride and then move to move a little bit faster. Because it is a little bit faster, just a tiny bit. Okay, so in here, I gotta activate this, of course. Oh, what? Actually, no, I think that's, that works, I think. No, dude! How do I get there? Yeah, so I'm heading to... Actually... Because I think that thing was leading over there originally, wasn't it? That's a gimme golem, which requires a... let's take a look. Gimme, gimme! A were wheel. Okay, I don't have that. So I need to do some exploring for sure. I'm telling you people, I don't know why, but I cannot think of anything to say right now. Like, oh my god, I am drawing a huge blank. This is so boring. Okay, so... Before I do it this time, let me, let me take a look at this thing. Okay, that's not leading to anything, so... I'm just gonna... 
activate this damn thing. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I didn't miss anything. Okay. Never mind. There it is, the wear wheel. And then this. Dark resistance plus seed. Okay, I can go ahead and hit this thing now, and let's see what it does. Oh, it makes a shortcut back. That's cool. That's convenient. Let's go ahead and use this damn thing then, this gimme golem thing. Gimme, gimme! Yes, take it. Yeah, so see, I missed that gimme golem. Like, I missed a lot in that freaking Mako reactor. But, like I said, I tried to go back and everything was closed, so I don't know how to do that. I'll have to try it sometime in the future, maybe, you know? I don't know when, though, but sometime. Alright, this part's obvious, unless there's a chest here, which there is not. Let's just move on, then. Okay, and then this next area has... Are you kidding me? Still nothing, huh? Still nothing. Like, no save, no teleport. I mean, I'm trying to freaking end the video and not record another one after this, because... I'm gonna have to be somewhere, you know, and... The thing is, should I leave the PlayStation running overnight? Because I don't have any more time to record more videos today. But I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I'm already up to 28-ish minutes. I am in some deep trouble here. I'm, in, like, in a dilemma, you know? I mean, luckily, that's not really... Like, there hasn't been too much. I guess I'll go this way first. There's a chest here, okay. Two remedies. And that's it. Oh no, what am I gonna do, people? What the hell am I gonna do? I can't believe how huge this place is. These dungeons are getting larger me. and larger. Look how far up we are. That bat must have really like high altitudes. Who? Me? The prime, dummy. She said the prime, dummy. She said. The prime, dummy. She said bat, not batty. Okay, well, let's see. Anything over here? I might actually just fast forward something. I might have to fast forward a little bit. I don't know. Just to make this within the freaking 29 minute time. Because I don't want any video to reach 30 minutes. Looks like we've climbed up even higher. Either that, or we've sunk to a new low. Okay, um, how do I get over there? Couldn't it hit this again? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And this will take us to the end. This better be the end. If there's another area, that's gonna be ridiculous. Oh my god, man. Okay. Well, there's a save point, but... That is really far. I'm not gonna do this. I might just have to split the video then. Okay, what the hell is this? What? Oh. Okay, what's over here? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, okay. Well, whatever, let's go. So there's an item over there, I just saw it. And... I don't know how to get there yet, but I guess we shall see in a little bit. Look how high up I am, man. Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're right, man. Like, these characters are, like, saying how high they are. It is, it is true. We are so freaking high up. Like, if we fall, we are dead. Okay, I'm gonna go end it right here. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.